What's up, guys? This is Jay again. Hey, listen, guys, today I want to talk to you about valuing your business. You know, um, I'm going to jump right on into it. So if you um, if you catch me live, I appreciate it. If you're uh, jumping on the replay, go ahead and hit replay. Um, type in replay in the comments. But today, I had an interesting conversation today. And I'm going to tell you about it. But you need to value your business if you want to create a real business. And then you have to treat it like a real business. You know, I talk a lot about mindset because mindset is the most important aspect of your business. If you don't have the right mindset, then, you know, you're not ultimately, you're more than likely going to fail. You know, because... You know, a lot of people think that, you know, they join a business and, you know, they've, they've posted, they've done this, they've done that for a week or whatever, and they're, they're not getting results. Well, results take time. And you have to realize that if you're wanting to run a business, you know, results simply take time. You know, that's the reason why I say mindset is most important because you have to have patience and you have to understand that, you know, whatever you put in, that's what you're going to get out. So if you put in half ass work, guess what? You're going to get half ass results. So, but if you're looking to have your hand held through the entire process, more than likely, I mean, that's not going to happen. Most people are not going to hold your hand through the entire process and you probably won't succeed. But, you know, most business opportunities you join, you know, they're going to have training within that within that uh, program or business opportunity. It's just up to you to follow that training and implement it. You know, I, I, like I said earlier, I spoke to a gentleman earlier today and he was wanting to upgrade in one of the programs that I'm that I'm in. And the reason why he wanted to upgrade is because uh, the upgrade had more done for you marketing. So basically, uh, your ads were going to be posted every day in different places, you know, and it was done for you. It was just going to be promoted for you. Well, that was the reason um, for his reason for joining the opportunity in the first place and wanting to upgrade. Because now with the upgrade, you got more opportunities to, for your for your link to be posted. But to me, you know, that was the wrong kind of attitude to have um, to join a business because of that. Because you know, you know, he was explaining to me that he, you know, would try. He tried all kinds of programs. He's been in all different kinds of programs, jumping from here to there, and um, he constantly struggled you know to make money well you know first of all you know and then what well, that was the other thing he said he didn't want to promote okay that's understandable if you don't want to promote that's cool you know but you won't build a bill you won't build a real business like that because you have to take your business by the by the wheel and take control of your own business um so if you if you're really looking to um, build a substantial income or life changing you know income in your life, then you really have to take control of your business. You can't simply rely on somebody else to do to do all the work for you, um, because your business is is your responsibility. So you know if if you take responsibility. For your business then you know you're responsible for your success or failure it's just plain and simple you know it doesn't matter um, what kind of opportunity you join if it's MLM biz op what, whatever it is you know you have to treat it like a business and, and most of the people that I've seen don't want to do that you know they want their hand held they want you know everything handed to them and that's not going to happen in this business is is really not going to happen in this business. Like I said, you can't totally depend on someone else to do all the work for you. Now, if you're looking just to earn, just to make a couple of bucks online or in your business, then that's cool if that's what you want. But 
if you're looking to create success, then you have to take control of your business and treat it like one. You know, you can't, you can't turn around, if you don't do this, you can't turn around and complain that you're struggling or that you're not making any money if you're not taking control of your business. So that, that's just plain and simple. So the best advice that I can give you is find a good mentor. Um, follow the training in your, in your, in your business that you, that you are provided. Implement it and be consistent. You know... That's the that's 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 the main points. You have to be consistent. If you're not consistent, if you promote one week and then you just stop promoting, you're not going to get any results. That's just plain and simple. It's too many people out here who claim they want success, but they don't want to do what's required to create success. Like I said earlier, you are the architect of your own life. You can create your success or you can create your failure. You know, the choice is just yours. You know, it's nobody else's. It, the choice is yours. So that's what I got for you today. Um, all I'm saying is, guys, take action. You know, take action today. Value your business and treat it like one. All right? Like I always say, it's our time to be free. All right, guys. <music>